Hey guys, it's Bang here. So what you're seeing is me playing on the PTR for patch 2.3 on my monk, non-seasonal monk. Um, and I'm actually playing on level greater rift 47. Um, I've actually hit level greater rift 49, 50. And you, well, this, this build itself can go up to level 60 depending on the paragon levels and the gems you use. Um, what you're seeing is a variation of a holy seven-sided strike build. Uh, new to the monk uh, with their Yuliana uh, stratagem uh, set and um, it's actually pretty cool as you can see I'm not taking any single damage that's because seven sided strike has an infinite uh, sorry an invincible frame when it does the strike and I'm constantly spamming it not only am I constantly spamming it I'm actually doing 600 million to a billion or even higher depending on whether I have focus or restraint buff on um, but as you can see here I'm always constantly having the Shenlong spirit buff on me and I'm always constantly having spirit especially when there are mobs around so have a look and we'll get into the skills and the gears just in a bit oh by the way I feel like Blizzard is gonna nerf this have fun All right, so let's look at the items first, okay? Uh, we're gonna be using the full uh, Yuliana Stratagem set piece, so the whole entire thing. No missing pieces, um, we're gonna use all that. So uh, gloves, shoulders, uh, helm, chest, uh, legs, and boots. Then we're gonna be using the Focus and Restraint Ring for that two extra buff. And then we're actually gonna be using the Shenlong's Fist of uh, Legend. I'm uh, sorry, Shenlong's Spirit, both of the fist. Um, so that increases our damage by 300% when our uh, spirit is at maximum. So when it's at maximum, you get the 3 extra 100% buff until your spirit drains down as you can see it's doing right now. Then it resets. 
okay so once it has 300 percent it'll drain you cannot recover any spirit at the current time except for your spirit generator um, so no passive generation was, will be possible only when you hit the target or some other type of effect that goes into play um, and then we're going to be using the vigilante belt and the gundal gear gundal gear is very important for this so let's take a look at yuliana's um, set piece so every third uh, hit of your spirit generator applies exploding palm so we need to do that first so we need to apply exploding palm and then once exploding palm does just hit seven side strike as you saw me do and you just keep constantly do that okay um, and we'll go into why right after this um, and then number four is your seven side of strike deals its total damage with each hit so instead of splitting it apart it just does one single it does that damage for one for every single hit and then for the six set piece, you know, um, it detonates your exploding palm. So instead of you know waiting for or killing the mob, whenever seven strike seven sided strike hits, it detonates. So it explodes, right? Pretty much ex uh, does an explosion thing. Um, so that's why you need the gundo gear so that it spreads it out to every other mob around it. So you don't actually need to use the mad stone. The mad stone, what it does is that. Um, Whenever you use seven sided strike, it applies to it applies um, uh, exploding palm to each target. So you don't need to do that because you already have this mechanic where uh, Yuliana's six piece set will coincide with the Gundo gear. Okay, so keep that in mind. So that's what we're using, and on it, uh, what we need most is cooldown reduction. Cooldown reduction is very important for this build. So I currently have 65.97. I'm using uh, cooldown reduction on my gloves, my shoulders, not my amulet, because I still need a little DPS. On my rings, right, these two rings have cooldown reduction, and on the weapons, they both have cooldown reduction. And of course, the gem up here, uh, plus also the paragon level and the passive skill as well okay so we're gonna go into the skills now so for the skill your primary spirit regener it could be anything you want it to be I use quickenings just to help me get that spirit back especially when I'm traveling from like one mob to another that's the only only time really that I lose the spirit and I need it back right as you saw like when I'm doing a mob I hardly ever ever um, lose spirit for seven sided strike, I actually use sustain attack. Now that reduces the time by uh, 14 seconds. So in general, it's gonna be 30 seconds minus 14, so that's 16 seconds. Reduce it down by another 70% because I do I, I am using the Gokak of Swiftness. So once that hits, it's about 71, 72%. So you're looking at around um, pretty much, uh, you're looking at about six seconds, right? Um, so we're, we'll go into further how you reduce it down to two seconds. Um, so I use this. Um, you can actually use Suddenly Assault as well. It does more damage, but you can't spam it like Sustain, uh, sustain Attack. Um, sudden Assault gives you an extra uh, 3,000 or 2,400, 2,400 damage. No, 2,000 something, 3,000 damage, whatever. Uh, gives you that much. So you, you can crit up to like 1.6, 2 billion. This one can go up to like, what, 1 billion, 1.5 billion, whatever. Uh, but the point of it is actually the invincible frames. That's what you want, the invincible frames, and constantly doing that. So that's why we have sustained attack. Um, now for exploding palm, here is where you can regen your spirit without having to use your spirit generator. And you always have the Shenlong buff on, but you, you may lose one of the focus or restraint buff. I don't remember which one of them, but one of them you'll, you'll lose. So um, even with this, you know, you're, you're going to be doing that invincible frame stuff and you're going to be recovering um, spirit every single time you hit a target that has exploding palm. Okay, because when you hit a target with exploding palm, because of your set piece, it's going to trigger exploding palm, meaning that it thinks it's dead. So you're going to receive 15 spirit every single time you hit a target. So that is pretty awesome right there. Even if it's just one target, as you saw, I mean, I can still go on until like quite a while until I need to like uh, regen and hit the target again. So this is why you want the strong spirit from exploding palm. It's really, really good.
For the rest of the skill, it's pretty explanatory. Epiphany, Desert Shroud, you know, for uh, toughness. Mantra, Salvation, for agility, for toughness as well. Um, this is just to move around, you know, move around faster in the rift and greater rift so that it cuts down on time. Um, so pretty explanatory. For passive, you know, Beacon of Yitar, explanatory as well. Mythic Rhythm, you know, I was thinking of this because, you know, I thought it was going to be hitting the Spirit Generator three times. But unfortunately, you know, this is... Um, not as great on here so you can replace it by something else maybe harmony to increase your um your toughness or a sixth sense if you wanted to or chance of resonance um you know so that you can regen spirit a little bit faster uh, moving in tune but that's not really needed um exalted soul same thing you know um, but what's good is that you need the Beacon of Yitar and Determination, those two are really great. So if you feel like you don't need to regen that much spirit, um, I think you can tweak it to have Sixth Sense and Harmony, which is really good. But right now, um, it's the spirit regen is moving a little bit slowly right there. Um, it does help, you know, when you're, you're trying to recover spirit from the Shenlong spirit, right? Um, it's really up to you. So. It's really up to you to tweak that if you wanted to, uh, but determination is something you really want, and Beacon of Yitar is something else you really want, right? Um, so let's move on to the last part of this build, the Kanai's Cube slots and what I use. Okay, so those of you who are playing Season 3, you have a choice of the Spirit Guard as your... Uh, armor piece right here because I'm not playing seasonal I don't have that so I'm using binding of the loss with conjunction of the vigilance about to help me uh, uh, lower down the cooldown reduction um, you know but at the same time because you're constantly doing infinite frame you're not really hitting the target with your spirit generator right so that may be an issue for you if you find that you can do binding of the loss instead of spirit guard um, you know, it's you can tweak either each either one you want to do, so it's really up to you. Um, let's see, uh, yeah, so grants three for five reduction for seven seconds, so it's really up to you. And for ring, I actually use the unity ring just to help me reduce damage in higher rift, so that's how I was able to survive. Um, you don't really need to do this, you know, it's just me. I like to survive a little bit more, do less damage, it's just me. You can do conventions of elements if you wanted to. Um, you can use uh, what's a good ring? I don't know what a good ring is. Um, band of chambers. You know, if you're actually punching the target a lot more, um, you can use the ring of royal grandeur just to mix it up just a little bit more. You can actually use this in conjunction with the lyrics crown if you really wanted to, because that's uh, right there, seventy percent point eighty five without the gokak of swiftness, right? Um, so it's really up to you which ring you want to use. It doesn't really matter, especially when you have infinite frames, right? But I like Unity just because I like I like it that way. So lastly is the weapon. This is a must. This is a must for that infinite frame. Is the flow of eternity reduces the cooldown of seven star strike by an extra sixty percent. Um, without it, um, you know the sustain attack. I think it does like. Uh, let me check. Flying dragon, one, two three, four, five seconds. So a difference of um, 3.5 seconds, three, four, yeah, 3.5 seconds, uh, life or death, it's up to you. Um, you know, so flow of eternity is really, really good to use. So that's how you can achieve that infinite frame. Anyways, um, I think that's about it, you know? That's pretty much it. And, you know, you should try this out and see how it works for you. Let me know if it works for you. Let me know how you feel about it. You know, if you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comments. Hit me up on Twitter. Come join my stream sometimes. And check out, uh, well, press subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Bye.